Welcome to My Summer Practice Journal, week number 12, and the final week of the series. So I've got a busy week on my hands. I'm finishing up teaching marching band for summer band camp at my old high school, and then I'll be moving back down to Austin to start my next semester at UT. I do want to start looking at the next Lacore Etude, which is going to be number 25, I think. Um, we probably won't get all the way through that just due to time, but I'll try and continue working on that as I get back to Austin. I want to keep working on the Bulkham Concert Suite, the Dacen Clover Quartet, and then also Convergent Spectrums. I don't want to rush any of these things just because these are long-term projects that I'm going to be working on for many weeks of the semester. Let's go ahead and get to work, and I will see you when it's all over. Over with. So as usual, I started off today with some mouthpiece exercises. I still cannot believe that we are on the final week of the series. It really has felt like the summer has been very long but also very short. It's pretty crazy to think that I've practiced six days a week every week for this entire summer and uh, especially compared to last summer where I cannot lie, I hardly touched my saxophone last summer. Setting these specific goals for me this summer has helped me ginormously, and also, surprisingly enough, having a saxophone stand, a stand, and chair in a permanent location, uh, that has helped me more than anything, to be honest, just having a place where I'm going to practice every single day. And although I'm sitting down and I would have preferred to stand up and practice, this uh, just keeps me, keeps me in one spot, and it was very helpful. So yeah, I'm very excited. We're on the last week. Let's go. After mouthpiece exercises, I went on to a sonority from the 28 day warm up book. And then I did some scale boomerangs on my E flat, so concert G flat. Double tonguing is something I definitely have not become as consistent with as I would have liked. I stuck with it for a good three quarters of the summer, but these last few weeks I've definitely been lacking and it's something that I want to uh, keep back and build back up once I start the semester in the fall. Um, but I'm very proud of myself for learning how to double tongue and this actually was going pretty well. After going through some double tonguing in multiple different registers, as you heard, I moved on to uh, the new Lacore Etude for the week, which I think is number 25. This one isn't actually too bad. I got through the first page pretty quickly, and then tomorrow we'll hopefully go through the second page. After getting through that first page, I moved on to the second movement of Volcom Concert Suite. 
I just kind of read through it. Definitely not perfect and needs a lot of improvement. The air support that I'm going to need on these PNSMO uh, phrases is going to be crazy and something that I'm going to have to work on uh, tremendously. Like, it's going to be very tough. So today I warmed up on alto. I didn't end up recording a whole lot. I ended up doing some, uh, this exercise I sort of made up on the spot, just working on my across the, uh, the break uh, intervals. After this, I ended up working on the excerpts for my band audition that is gonna happen on the second day of school. I decided I'm not going to end up recording my practice for those sorts of things. Not necessarily because I don't want my uh, classmates to hear what I'm doing with those I don't really care about that but it's more about so that I don't let Dr. Page hear what I sound like on those and I know it sounds kind of counterintuitive because I've been posting myself playing this whole summer and it's pretty nailed on that he's going to be able to figure out which one is me um, especially because last audition he nailed on who I was but um, we'll see I want to try and make it to where he doesn't know it's me but we will see that's why I'm not going to record it just so you know it has nothing to do with the competition side of it As I said, I'm not going to be recording myself practicing the band audition excerpts, but today I ended up going through a few of them at a very slow tempo. I feel pretty good about these, especially because two of them I worked on throughout the series. I think the Rachmaninoff and then the Molly on the Shore. The Molly on the Shore is definitely going to be the toughest one for me, um, but we'll see how it goes. I kind of approach these the same way I would approach the TMEA Allstate Etudes, just in a very compressed format. I like to start really slow and not really speed up until about a week and a half before, so half my time is spent at a very slow tempo just to get it under my fingers, and so I feel good when I get into that audition room. I decided today I'd do some soprano work, starting off on another sonority from the 28-day warm-up book. I feel really good about my soprano sound and my new setup. I got a new Ishimori and then also a Legere size number four, which I'm loving. It is perfect. I feel very good. It has enough resistance for me to be able to push it just a little bit and not sound super buzzy. Um, overall, loving my soprano sound right now. Hope you enjoy it too. I then went on to do uh, my usual tonal energy metronome uh, speed up articulation single tonguing exercise. I was thinking while I was playing this, I probably will end up making a, a short form video talking about this exercise that I like to do. Um, I, I really enjoy this. I feel like it, it, it's a good way to work up your tongue tempo and then it's just something you can do every day to keep consistent. And then finally for today, I did sort of a chunking run of movement one of the Dace and Chloe just to get that back on under my fingers. Uh, this is just the very end chunk, I think.
today I went ahead and moved on to movement two of the Days and Clo. Um, learning the beginning part, I did a little bit of score study with the recording. Um, I need to go ahead and find a, a recording that I really like for both movements, um, just to just to solidify that. I really, I, again, I really like my sound. I think I'm achieving this really well, and especially my vibrato in these passages. I, I think that's something I've really improved on at the beginning, or from the beginning of the summer. At the beginning of the summer, I started, I, I did vibrato on a note, and it was just absolutely disastrous. Now I feel really good. I'm starting it really early, and I'm getting more consistent. Something that my professor last semester, Calvin Wong, um, wanted was a little bit more of a narrow vibrato, and I think I'm accomplishing that pretty well. So that's the My Summer Practice Journal done with. I hope you've enjoyed this series as much as I have, and I hope it was at least a little bit helpful to you, as it was so helpful to me. Keep your eye out for more content. I will see you next time. Peace.